Today we'll show you five features of the noise engineering Zur Mixa Mixer and Expando Expandy Expander, the perfect pairing for expressive hands-on mixing with automation abilities. The Zur Mixa has an all analog signal path with eight stereo inputs and two stereo aux ends and returns. If you have a mono signal, the left will normal to the right. These inputs can be adjusted manually with the sliders, with MIDI, or with CV using the expander. But you can also use our mixer as a 10 stereo channel mixer. If you're not using the aux loops, add two more stereo pairs of inputs through the A and B returns, and adjust their volumes through the screen controls. This is our first screen ever on a module, and it's worth every pixel. On the home screen, you can monitor the volume levels for the main and two aux outputs and adjust them quickly with the three encoders. When tapping the channel select button, the screen shows you levels for panning, volume, and the two aux ends for each channel. Click config and you can get into setting the pre or post faders and determine pan law settings. The rest of the screen controls are laid out as menu options. Save and load scenes, set audio levels and turn on Q mode, connect, monitor, and assign the voltages coming from the expander, access MIDI controls, and adjust visuals like screen brightness and LED color. The Expando Expandy Expander has eight inputs that take any plus or minus five volt CV signal and uses it to automate up to 32 destinations. That means you can send one CV to multiple destinations or send multiple CVs to just one. After patching the expander, select Config and scroll to Expander, then select your expander. Create a new modulation routing, then select that. Here's where you link the jack location on the expander to the channel location on the mixer. Decide what the CV signal will control, such as volume, muting, panning, or adjusting aux levels. With the action setting, select whether those CV signals should be added to the sliders on the mixer, be attenuated by them, or if they should completely take over their full range. You can also adjust each routing with an attenuverter and offset. And keep an eye on the CV signals by clicking Show. With Zer Mixa, it's easy to set up a Q-Mix to monitor signals before sending them out to the main mix. When activated, the stereo out B jacks become the Q-Mix, which you can monitor by sending to a headphone module like the Sono Abitus. Scroll to the audio menu, then to Q-Mode. If it's off, Q-Mix is disabled. Setting it to mute will send any channel that is muted to the Q-Mix. With Select, Channels that are selected with their buttons will go to the Q-Mix. Then under Q-Mix, select whether the Q output is soloed or mixed with the main mix. When Q-Mix is activated, NB works like any other input channel, so you could use it as an additional stereo input. Here are a few LED and screen controls on the Zur Mixa that may come in handy whether you're playing in bright daylight or low light settings. In the visuals menu, adjust the LED and screen brightness however you'd like. You can also adjust the screensaver mode with the off time. Zero means it's always on. If you prefer to have the module in your case with the mute switches up top, change the orientation. This flips the screen and changes the direction of the sliders and mute switches. And if you want a fun light show, set rainbow mode to on. If you prefer identifying your channels by color, set the rainbow mode to freeze. Zermixa and Expando Expandy are available individually or together as a discounted bundle. For more information, visit noiseengineering.us. Join us next time when we prove that hips actually don't lie.